on to some of anime afterthought my hero academia episode 94 foresight yo let me get this out of the way first and foremost aoyama needs a new hero name can't stop twinkling by the time tokiyami actually blurted that out he was long gone my god second of all kinako komori aka mushroom girl is absolutely terrifying yo i honestly thought at one point man class one a is gonna lose. So then when they started focusing on Yoyo Rozu, and I was like, okay, so maybe they're gonna squeak this one by just like the first one. Holy shit. I literally dropped my jaw. The fact that she pulled out this trump card, right? Like, my god. Attacking the lungs inside of Tokiyami, where he literally couldn't fucking breathe. Like, that's, that's pretty fucking villain right there like oh shit complete and utter defeat so we all know Yeyorazu is like this super smart intelligent she's like the best grades of the best class like she's super like well bred and just smart like having that little flashback of her and Shoto taking on Aizawa you know there is some true determination and resolve there but I really liked how she expressed her own inadequacies I'm still that inexperienced fool, she almost embodies like the perfect support system, not only a brilliant strategist who could probably come up on anything with a big of five, I mean, so much so that she actually had planned out this shit from the very beginning, aka the title of the episode, Foresight. Mix that with her quirk being able to almost make anything that she can disseminate, understand, and reconstruct. Like, don't get me wrong, she is just oozing with those hero vibes, but given enough time, I honestly think she can pull off that more of a leadership slash commander type role. Surprise, surprise, nipping at her heels is Ken. Now, yes, we know she is the face, not necessarily the voice that goes to Monoma, unfortunately, of Class 1B. She's their class rep. Everyone seems to admire her, and it actually, you know, it kind of shows in today's episode. She was able to devise such a plan that kept Yairozu, the most intelligent person in Class 1A, completely on the defensive. I mean, at every point, it looked like it was going to Kendo's plan, even when Plan and A failed, it kind of felt like plan B was going to be the right plan anyways, especially incorporating both Kiniko as well as Manga, which by the way, don't even get me started on his name as well as his quirk. First of all, his name, that's like putting a hat on a hat. Why not just have his hero name Manga? Seriously. But his quirk, basically turning comic book slash manga sound effects in onomatopoeias like thwack and thwomp and bounce and boom into physical things like it's not just crash boom bang and out pops a wall he was able to create a humidifier by you know like i don't know it's scary to think but moist like it's just <sighs> that's pretty fucking badass but kendo was able to utilize these components in a way that pushed everyone to the brink of class 1a even though we did get a very badass yoyorozu like heroic moment she was against someone with a more physically superior close combat type quirk. But not only was she able to stave off it defensively, but she was able to turn around, support her teammates, but also somewhat kind of capture her. It looks like she just ran out of steam. But yeah, the, the plan that Kendo devised in utilizing everyone's quirk in complete cooperation with everyone else, it just felt like a more well-rounded plan. And it really did come down to Kiniko using that trump card. Round one was definitely by the skins of Class 1A's teeth. This one, it felt like Class 1B had a well-earned victory. Now, while the preview for next week's episode looks pretty good, we get to see both Shoto and Ida team up. That's going to be pretty badass. We know Todoroki is just a fucking monster. Like, hot, cold, just come on. He is top three future hero guaranteed. You know, if he lives, Ida is just a fucking speed demon. Like, so seeing them together, I really want to see that combo. But what I'm looking forward to more, and I know you guys are going to hate me for this, I can't wait to see how Aizawa lectures this group. I know. 
He kind of laid into Kaminari last week, which, you know, made sense. I really want to hear what he says to Aoyama and kind of to what he says to Hagakure. Like, albeit it's probably the funniest moment in today's episode when she shows up in front of Tokiyama completely covered in mushrooms head to toe, like, holy shit. But at the same time, like, I get having mushrooms on you is kind of, you know, disturbing, but to be that flummoxed when all that shit went down, like, come on, man, you're part of a team and they really need you out there but yeah i'm enjoying these little clashes we're going to see in these new characters and their abilities like i absolutely love kinago as well as manga I even kind of like Kiryuo. Like, that was a perfect, like, rivalry to set up with Tokiyami. Like, that was just fucking good. Uh, and I honestly, I, I'm looking forward to seeing more. Like I said, we still have Shoto for his round. We still have Lurking in the Background, Bakugo. And then, of course, we have the final round, the rematch between Deku and Shinso. Like, this is good. I like this arc. I really do like this arc. So, with all that being said, and more of My Hero Academia next week, I honestly cannot wait for future episodes.